I would like to tell you a story. It is a monster story. Once upon a time, in a great land, there was a demon. This is David Serini. I'm Italian. I'm a white nationalist holocaust denier. Just another alcoholic womanizer. I am likewise a science fiction author. Filmmaker. Nothing to do then, but light a smoke and watch the fireworks go down. Can we go now? Why? I like him. He's such a nice guy. I served as a corporal in the Canadian Forces and uh, studied history at McMaster University. I am a huge white nationalist on paper. Although it might offer a bit of knowledge. If you're looking for some meaningless sex, go to Halifax on vacation. But there, there is a war with machines coming. And you gotta decide what, which side you're on. Or it might offer a bit of pleasure. This demon, like all, was a parasite. And thank you for visiting this Patreon page. I am going to ask for your favor one minute of your time. If you can toss us five, ten, or fifteen bucks. But then something happened. The belief that women are somehow a naturally weaker gender is a deeply ingrained... Oh, Anita. The truth is far darker than you might imagine. But it's out there. You see, the d demon, the wise and crafty and uh, genius at manipulation, was not truly clever. But Jordan and I, we already make high quality YouTube videos. With this project, we're taking it to the next level. Hello, how's it going, folks? We're going to create a high quality product that will go down in the annals of history as a high-quality documentary that, with any luck, changes the world. And the Oscar goes to... We could be interviewed on The Daily Show. And not, right. not as the guest to be ridiculed, but the, the guest to joke with. We could be on Fox News, we could be on, you know, Red Eye, Fox Red Eye, Fox and Friends. I'm David Serini, writer, lecturer, and quite frankly, we disagree on almost every hot button topic that there is. Uh, nonetheless, we're good friends. I have decided that it is best for me and best for the project that I terminate my working relationship with David Serini. Now, normally, normally I try and speak very intelligently about things and not, not be mean. Hey, go watch Jordan's video on Rooch. It's an hour long and it's very tedious, but you'll see these occasional glimpses of Elliot Roger. No. I'm gonna blame others for my failings. Good news, everybody. Owen Arini Productions is back in business. You see you before. Men who like to kill whores in Grand Theft Auto V and then take their money. Now, I find him genuinely disturbing. He is a frightening man. But then something happened. Movies cost money. Now, if that's, if that's enough for you, there's a link down below to the Fund Anything campaign that we are using for the post-production process. Do not give any money to the GoFundMe, or the Fund Anything, the Fund Anything campaign that Davis has set up. Documentaries generally take about two years to edit. Uh, nailing this thing down in six months is because I'm very, very good at what I do and I'm very fast at editing. Davis is as fast at editing as anybody I know in Hollywood. I know all the keyboard shortcuts. I am very, very quick with editing. Davis has been wasting time 
for six months now. Bloody good editing, in fact. He has missed multiple deadlines. My dad in particular is actually who I'm thinking about whenever I'm putting all of this together. He has screwed up our finances royally. When all he wants to do is achieve material wealth. Um, so 5,000 for that. 5,000 for private investigator fees. Uh, these guys are not cheap. And Davis, based on that footage, came to the conclusion that Anita had been raped by her father. He said that I believe that uh, Anita Sarkeesian was molested by her father. Uh, that's uh, completely misconstruing what I said. This film is not going to be harassment. This is not going to be cyberbullying. This is not going to be digging through dirty laundry just to discredit somebody's character. Davis is a screw-off that is milking this project for all it's worth. And I've just completely streamlined my life so that I can focus uh, basically full-time on this, as well as writing and doing the YouTube videos, which I regularly do, and the podcasts. Um, he has fucked up everything to do with this production. <laughs> I didn't screw up. I don't screw, I can't screw up. Agree with us or not, you can respect our integrity. Despite the budget, it is looking like a proper documentary. That's as far as the story's got so far. <clears throat> Rock and roll. Booyah. And this movie will be done. Come hell or high water, I'm going to see this movie done. And it is going to be... Well, it's already something that I'm proud to put my name on. Quite frankly, most of my critics have no interest in debate or intellectual integrity. They're just trying to attack me as a person. Booyah. That's bullshit.